Hi everybody. So we've got so many people asking for the install videos that yes, we're going to start doing a couple of them. Um, I have a 148 GTL in line to do here uh, sometime this week, and I'll do a video on that. Had a lot of people ask about the uh, crystal controlled radios, so uh, since this uh, this old Simba is going to get done, I thought, well, yeah, what a better radio to use. Why not use this? So, let's get to it. You've got a crystal controlled radio, and you want to know where to inject clock zero from your DDS signal generator. Well, let's review real quick what this does, how this works. This is indicative of any other kind of uh, crystal controlled uh, CB radio. They're, they're all going to be basically the same. The mixers may be a little different. There may be, you know, little changes in the circuitry and how they do things. But basically, they're all going to be a channel selector here going down to a, a bank of crystals. The channel selector will select two crystals to mix. And in this particular mixer, the sum of the two is what goes over to the rest of the circuitry and out to the receiver and on the bottom of the radio there's another let's see if I can get this up here for you there's another another cable right here that goes off to the to the transmitter side this point is the exact same spot as we have on top so let's go back down here you can get a good look at this so we can see what's going on so Right here is your little four diode uh, mixer. That goes into here, this is T5. And to this capacitor, jumps over here, goes to this transistor, then out through these uh, tuning cans and off to the transmitter and receiver section. So all we are concerned about is what's the frequency for two of these crystals. It doesn't matter, you could go to channel one or 10 or 23 or whatever. I like channel 27. I mean channel 20. 27.205. I just use that all the time. It's just what I do. Okay, so let's find out. We know that these two of these crystals get, get together. I don't care which two. I want to see what gets mixed and comes out of this cap going to this transistor and then off to the rest of the radio. So let's let's take a look at what's supposed to be there. Let's look at the schematic first and just make sure that what I'm thinking is correct. Okay, so back again, all the crystals are pulled out and I went ahead uh, and soldered on the, um, let's get this up here, soldered on the, um, the wire there to the, to that transistor we need more light in there? Maybe not. All right. So I soldered the capacitor coming off of clock zero and the ground just, just before the transistor. Just We're going to see what happens. So I'm going to turn on. I'm going to show you this real quick. This is the Geb track. Okay. What it is, it's a, it's a little... Um, very powerful bench tool. You can get this off of ddsvfo.com for free. You put it in, I don't care if you put it in a cigarette box. Get the components off of Amazon. You know, this thing will cost you less than 25 bucks. Put it together and you will be able to make a super accurate generator for doing, you know, receiver alignments or signal replacement testing, all that kind of stuff. It will sweep, it'll track, it'll do just do everything. It's an amazing little thing. You can even do offsets uh, on your different uh, outputs. It's just, it, it's so powerful for a $25 device or less. I'm, I'm just throwing that number out there. You, you know, maybe Arduino is a couple of bucks and and uh, this, it's all free. You download is free, so you know you might have ten bucks into it. I don't know. Anyway, so we're we're doing the 19.406 frequency, 4065, and I'm putting that where I showed you, right here, into that little spot. So 
let me go ahead and let's do uh, recall 20 which is channel 20 for me okay, recall 20 and uh, recall 2 and let's go generate and let's see what we can get okay look at that there we go we're receiving now on the Simba okay let's get up there by the meter you're seeing you're just receiving a little bit of signal there we can uh, let's turn the volume down let's bring that up to uh, something that should be about S9 I'm thinking <laughs> sorry didn't want to blow your ears off okay but there you go so um, once it's calibrated and everything you're gonna be just fine with everything working um, but now I can move this I can take this generator and as you see we're at the 19 we're at the 19406 um, what I can do is I can take the generator and let's just move it around and see what we're gonna go to um, let me go down here we'll show you the generator and what's what we're gonna do let's take the generator and move it up to let's see that would be 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29, 30 and let's just go up here let's go to 61 so what's that gonna be so uh, that's channel 41 let's go up here so that would be channel 51 let's go up here to the service monitor and generate that and see what happens alright let's go up to 51 oh, there it is oh, there it is look at that same signal level coming out of there and as you can tell go down in frequency up in frequency so real quick recap what did we do we took the two frequencies that mix found out what runs the radio for channel 20 so that we can test and know that it works tied clock zero right to the beginning of that transistor generated clock zero into it and voila it works now if you don't want to build this little generator you've already got one if you bought a DDS kit then you just assemble the display and the encoder you just put the wire that together and you can use that just like I did with this guy you can set the frequency in DDS just like we did here generate that frequency up to here goes through the rest of the radio and yeah it transmits too if you want to see it transmit I can do that because I know someone's gonna say yeah but I didn't see a transmit with it <laughs> okay uh, let's take a look here let's go back into receiving okay we're receiving that's AM and there's 3.5 watts so no problem it's really easy I mean it's so simple again pull all the crystals know what that frequency is going to be by doing the simple math check it with a frequency counter a scope you know whatever you have tiny tiny SA or whatever and just inject your frequency and you can try it from here take your cap and say well I'm gonna try it here first look how your receiver responds if you don't like that try it on the other side of the transistor maybe you're swamping this transistor down a little bit now what I do is I get the scope and I look at these points and I say okay what matches best to the output of the DDS you know and I get it close enough and it just works right off but that's all there is to it get the frequency inject it make sure it works now you can do all the little simple stuff like heat up your hot glue gun and put your display in and you know bolt on your encoder same thing now so what about sideband how do I do this this is AM upper and lower sideband how do I do the connections to this the connections to the mode switch 
are going to be exactly the same as they are for any other radio, whether it's brand new digital or old time tube radio, crystal control, it doesn't matter. What you want to do is you want to say, all right, the kit is looking for voltage when we switch from AM to upper side. All right. So now I've already tracked these wires down. And I'll show you what they do. This wire here that I'm on, which is this yellow one here. I hope you all can see all this. Okay. That gives us when we're on upper side, it gives us nine volts on the, on the meter. And then when we go off of upper side back to AM, it goes to zero. Now on this radio, they don't have a wire for AM, and that wire is actually just a point. It's an empty spot on the switch, which is right there. And as you can see in AM, we're at nine volts, and when we go to upper side, the voltage goes away. Those are the only two points you need. Solder wires to them, and you're done. That's how simple it is. You don't need to make any components. You don't need to be an engineer and design circuitry. All of the DDS connection points are going to be points that are in the radio and, and just very simple to find with a, with a standard voltmeter. And uh, I think the, probably the most complicated thing is that clock zero. So many people ask about that. On the 8719 chassis, it's pin six of the VCO. Pull out your uh, 8719 chip. Yank out that 10 meg uh, crystal if you want to. You don't have to. Uh, take out that master oscillator crystal and just hook your coax from your clock zero straight up to, uh, well, through the cap, uh, straight up to pin six of the VCO. And it just works because DDS is set up for the 8719 chassis right out of the box. But I will show this a little bit more in depth on the 8719, but on a crystal controlled radio, it's this simple. If you have any questions whatsoever, Dan and I are here to help you. All you have to do is send an email and say, Hey, Toby, I, I've got this. I'm at this point. Here's some pictures. Can you give me a call and help me step through it? I've got no problem doing that. A lot of people will let you know that that has happened. Um, lots of people will tell you that that's the kind of support we give. We don't ask any money for it. And the reason I don't ask any money for it is I want your DDS to work when you get it plugged in. I, I don't want there to be people saying, oh, it doesn't work. Well, you know, we've done this since 2014 and <laughs> we have, I forget, I think last year we counted up 1,100 of them working in the field, just running. So, um, yeah, that's that's what we want. But hey, you know, for an old crystal controlled radio, it's going to be a it's going to be a good thing to do. Um, just yank your crystals, man. And check things first, just to make sure. But just yank your crystals and probe around and find the spots you need to find. But if it's a radio we've already done, and I have never done a Simba before. Um, so this radio will be documented with photographs of where everything goes. And this video is going to be the same instructions for, I don't care, pretty much any crystal radio. We do have people that want to do like the, in the old days with the VFO, take a crystal. Uh, if it's got this uh, heat shrink on it, take the heat shrink off heat it up, pull the case off, clip off the crystal, solder a coax to the two pins, drill a hole in the top, slide it back down, solder it. You may, it makes a nice little wire that you can just go plug into one of the crystal slots. That works also. There's nothing wrong with doing that. But if you do that, you still have the mixer crystals that can, can drift and be kind of weird. So I would rather plug it in right after they mix where it goes into the rest of the solid state circuitry. And that way you're just, you're nice and stable. And uh, that's how you do it. It's, it's that easy.
Anyway, if you have any questions, again, write to Dan, write to me, and I will do my best to step you through any of the technical stuff. Um, if you want to become a dealer, we have almost a year worth of DDS sitting in people's uh, outgoing UPS and mail waiting for someone to put them in. I'll put them in if no one else does, but man, you could make yourself a great little extra money business. Even if you did just the, say, the 148s or the 8719 chassis radios, because it's cookie cutter. Once you do one, all the rest of them are the same. All right, so from Central Texas, 725 here, and I hope to hear you on the air. Get your DDS VFO installed, and remember, let us know if you have questions. Step you through everything. Everyone has ever had a question knows that I get back to you. It might not be real quick. I'm not Amazon, but I will get back to you as soon as possible. This radio will get uh, built out and documented, and all of the points will be on that radio. You can look at the schematics. I always try to include the schematic with it. Have a great weekend when it gets here, guys and gals. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, but get your favorite beverage, relax, take a breath. Hey, it's only a radio. Talk to you all later. Please like and subscribe the video and share.